All right, what is going on, fellas? How you do? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This time we're going to be uh, going over how to mod with the new 1.17 update. I know, it's been, oh my word, it's taken forever to get this. It's taken forever for me to finally make a video on it. So here we go, let's get into it. Right now, before we get started, I'm not going to self-promote or anything, but I will suggest you guys watch the whole video through to the end, because all of it will be useful. I don't want to see you know, people down in the comments all, oh, this and this and this didn't work. I will have gone through absolutely everything you could possibly need to ask throughout this video. So if you have a question, make sure you watch the whole video first. Not that there's anything wrong with asking questions, I just don't like repeating myself. But if you do have a question that legitimately is not answered in this video, I will gladly help you out. I have no problems helping you out if I actually just straight up forgot to answer something, because that, you know, that's my fault. That is understandable. Now, to mod in this game, you need a clean installation of Xenoverse 2 1.17.1. It will not work on a previously modded version. You have to get a fresh version of 1.17 for this to work. So what you can do to do that is if you're still on 1.16, open XV2 installer, Go to the tools up top, clear installation. You need to clear this installation in order for mods to install properly when you update to 1.17. It will not work if you don't do that. I mean, it might if you get really lucky, but it didn't work for me. It hasn't worked for a ton of people, so the odds of it working for you are very unlikely. It's just easier if you refresh your installation of Xenoverse 2. Then you can go to wherever your game is, right click, Delete. I'm not going to do it because my version works just fine. Right, then in your Steam library you can go Xenoverse 2, right click, manage, uninstall. You need to uninstall the game and re-download it as 1.17.01. If you have previously downloaded 1.17.01, and you have a fresh installation of that game, like a, a copy of it somewhere on your computer, that should work just fine, but no guarantees, because XV2 installer tends to sometimes switch between the two. I don't know why. It did for me. Just a bit of advice. Just re-download the game. It works so much easier. It's easier to take a bit of extra time. Trust me, it works. I have very painfully slow internet. It took an entire day to re-download it, but it was worth it, because it actually works now. Almost forgot recording this. Uh, I'm not sure if you need to necessarily, but you might want to clear your save data as well. Uh, if you guys completed the game already, there's a save editor that you guys can download to get all that back in like just a couple seconds. Trust me, uh, it will work best if you take the time to do just a couple extra steps, because yeah, things just don't work when you cut corners. Alright, so to get to your save data, Program Files 86, Steam, User Data, whatever number, then 323470, remote, then right here, this is your save data folder for Xenoverse 1.16, this is your save data folder for Xenoverse 1.17. Now, if you have either of these, and you wish to clear your save, just highlight, right click, delete, that's all there is to it. Uh, but if you wish to keep your save for just in case it actually does work, then what you can do is you can make yourself a new folder on your desktop, drag, move to new folder, that's all you have to do. Then that will preserve your save data if you want to put it back in. You just put it back in here after you've modded the game and it should work just fine if you don't feel like getting all your save data back, but it's easier to just use the save editor. So now I'm going to get into everything you need to actually use mods in Xenoverse 2 in 2022. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download any mod of your choice. Most people download the Lazy Bones transformation mod. Just give that a real quick download. It'll pop up down here on the bottom left. And then once you've downloaded that, head over to Eternity's modding page. And I will leave a link to this in the description. What you're gonna need here is you're gonna need the installer and you're gonna need the patcher. This installer and patcher works a bit different than all the previous ones, where this one is not backwards compatible, period. It will not work for anything but 1.17.01. Also, I guess the previous patcher and installer were like that, but that doesn't, you know, whatever, it's, it's not what we're getting into. Click download on the installer right here, 
and then hit download on the mega.nz.file page, whatever. While that's going, make sure you have the 3.7 installer and the 3.7 patcher. Give that a click right there. And then what that'll do is that'll bring you to just the main page area. Patcher, click there, download. And right there we go. That's the first thing I've downloaded apparently, so that's down there on the bottom left. All right, and then once you've got everything downloaded here, what it's gonna say with the installer is it's gonna say it's not commonly downloaded and might be dangerous. That's fine. Everyone who mods with 117 uses this installer. Click on that arrow, click keep. It'll stay right there where you need it to be. Minimize the tab, and then just click and drag each of these to your desktop. That way you don't have to go through your downloads. Highlight, right click, 7-zip. I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the description extract to slash and those will both pop up right down there on the bottom you can take these put them in your uh, designated mod stuff folder not your modding folder just your extra stuff folder if you have one and then what we have here is we have our directory for xenoverse 2 i'll actually go to the one that doesn't have anything in it just to show you guys better how it works so for you guys it's going to be your local disk program 86 steam Steam apps, common, and it's gonna show up right here. It'll be Dragon Ball's Universe 2. I don't know why mine isn't there. Oh yeah, I have a, my library's in a different file. But for you guys, it's gonna be right here. But right here, here it is. This is what it'll, it'll physically look like for you guys with the exception of this part being different. You're gonna open this. You're gonna take XP2 installer. It looks something like this on the inside. You're just gonna take this entire file, just drop it right in there, just like that. And then uh, make sure, of course, Make sure that one isn't there, that that shouldn't be there, that's not good. Uh, if files aren't named correctly, then then they don't work for some reason. Okay, so next, what we have here is the optional UI extensions, the bin and the patcher folder. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bin and patcher folder, drag, drop, just like that. It's that easy. So then with the, with, with the patcher extensions, uh, you could just read the readme or you could just watch what I do. Data folder, take it, drag it, drop it that easy that's all you have to do and so what that's going to do later when you create a character is it's going to make another data folder and then all this stuff is going to this is going to be here already when you uh when you need it to be later so it's easiest if you do that before you make a character but uh, whatever so then these i don't these you don't technically need anymore all right so that should be everything you need to install mods now you should be able to install whatever you want just go to xv2 installer if these icons are not blue for you, highlight, right click, run as administrator. And then it'll say something about how the uh, XV2 installers knows to change in the installer path, blah, 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 blah. Yes, change it. It should automatically detect it for you. So there we go, boom. All my st This is all my stuff for my other installation of Xenoverse, actually. Uh, but that's all there. That'll be blank for you guys. You just, uh, just click the plus here the install file and then that'll bring you, you can install whatever you want then right so then what you're gonna need is lazy bones transformation mod which i've of course got right here take that drag it drop it into your directory it's that easy it'll copy a whole bunch of things and then boom there you go so now to set this up what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the x2m in the transformations installer it's gonna bring you to this so what you're gonna do here is you're going to Make sure that your game directory, the one that you're using, is for where your game actually is. Steam library, Steam apps, or just, it'll be Steam, Steam apps for you guys. Common, Dragon Ball Universe 2. Just click the file, don't open it. Select folder. Boom. That is all there is to it. And then you just go through the different files until, uh, you go through the different things until you get what you want. I personally suggest data input, is that way you don't teleport every time you use a super or ultimate. Normal if you want, I don't know, it doesn't matter, that just determines how fast Kaioken drains your health. And then for this here, I already did a tutorial on how to do hair changing stuff. That is all on another video on my channel. So if you want, no hair change, hair change, hair and eye change. I personally suggest just hair change, although I don't think there's any difference between these two, because because the code didn't work properly, so I don't know. Just something to keep in mind is I don't know if these two are actually different. I think this one might change eyes as well, but I'm not sure. And then, of course, if you want, tail animations, 
install them. Next, ready to install. That'll install. Just like that. Okay, so then get rid of that. Click OK. That'll go away. So what we did here was I picked the no hair change transformations. So when I want to install from LazyBones mod, I have to pick from this file. If you choose, if you chose hair change, then you pick from this file. Anything in here, moveset swapping, I don't know if these, I don't think these work properly. If you have a custom moveset, these do not work properly. Just something to keep in mind. So always go with normal, and then if you want a full Super Saiyan lineup with Ultra Instinct, those are all, those are all here. And then if you want just normal Super Saiyan transformations, so the Ultra Instinct has health requirements, those are all here, obviously. So then just install whichever ones you want. I pick no hair change, so I have to do like this. Super Saiyan 4, just to see if, just to prove if it works or not. Now, if these files look like this, or anything else, if, the, if this icon looks like anything that isn't the XV2 logo, just pick whichever one you want to install. Uh, left click, right click, open with, and then right here it's gonna give you a couple options. XV2 installer isn't here, so choose another app. And then right here, XV2 installer shows up because it's in your directory already. So click that. Always use this app to open .x2m files. Then you'll never ever have to do this again. You shouldn't ever have to do this again. Then OK. It'll do its thing. And then all these, every X2M is going to turn to like this. So then all you have to do is just double left click and then it'll install whatever you want. So now what that's done, what launching this has done, is it's made the data folder it's unlocked everything else here in the data folder basically so now you can actually go to your various races and you can make changes to uh, things like the hair and stuff like you can actually change that now so in order to do hair change stuff you have to install lazy bones mod any saiyan hair change stuff is going to be in the human folders huh? um you want to change something for your saiyan mail you just change if you want to change something hair related for your saiyan mail you change it in the human mail folder because there, as you can see here, there are no hair files in the in any of the Saiyan uh, any of the Saiyan folders, but there are in every other one here. Then, when you launch the game, make sure you launch it right here from the bin folder. This little icon right here. You don't want to use this one. Don't use it. Don't delete it. Just ignore it. Uh, but make sure whenever you launch the game from now on, launch it from the bin folder. This one right here. That's the only one that'll work. It's not going to work if you launch it from Steam or from from this right here, don't just it, pretend that's not there. Right, then all you have to do, just go to the skill shop, it should show up here. Right there, right here, it should show up somewhere. As you can see, everything that I had installed is now showing up here for some reason. So, you can just buy every single mod you have. You have to have sufficient zenny, obviously. You can just cheat stuff in with the, with the, with the save editor, that works just fine. Now also, just something to note, if it doesn't show up in the shop, just try completing the story mode. You don't have to complete anything but the story mode, really. You don't have to do like DLC or anything, just the story mode will suffice. Then it should show up in the shop. If it still doesn't, it probably didn't install right, honestly. Right, so here just to show it did in fact work. These are the no hair change transformations. And they appear to have installed just fine. As you can see, my base hair did not, or my hair, it did not change at all. Just the Super Saiyan 3 hair is the only thing that changes. All right, so that did work. That worked just fine. So if you guys have any questions down in the comments, by all means, uh, I will answer them if I can. If I can't, well, I can only, it's because I can only get to so many people at one time. I don't think I left anything out, but if I did, Feel free to down the comments again. Just feel free. Tell me if I left something out. This should be a more or less updated enough version. Just a friendly reminder though, this does require a clear installation. Otherwise it just won't. Whatever reason, I had problems with it when I tried it with my normal installation. You gotta clear it, otherwise it doesn't work. Alright, with all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please do leave a like. Leave a comment on your 
favorite part of the video or whatever. I don't know. Just, just leave a comment. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, while you're at it, if you want to see content like this in the future, please do hit the subscribe button. If you guys are interested in Minecraft, hopefully within the next couple of months, I'm going to have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash hypeyourzeno with a Y. That will be down in the description. So yeah, that'll be exciting. Hopefully I'll start doing Minecraft live streams. Uh, hopefully by the end of February, probably not. I'm not sure. I need better internet for that, and I'm waiting for it to get put in still, so. In the meantime, I will keep making some Xenoverse content. I'm gonna start doing Minecraft, though. Uh, you guys can also check out my other channel, HyperZeno, on the YouTubes. That will also be down in the description. A lot of stuff going on here, fellas. So yeah, if you enjoy the other content, there is my other channel information for you guys there. Um, yeah, very exciting. Gonna start doing uh, s new stuff soon, hopefully. Would be very, uh, would be very nice. All right, and that is everything I got for you, fellas. I will see you next time.